RJ Doyle McLaren Industries, we're behind the scenes here at the factory and we're in our rubber compounding lab. I wanted to show you a few things that make our quality better and make sure that every rubber track that we make are at their optimum performance. So this is one of the machines, it's called a moving die rheometer. And what does this do? This tells us the cure curve or how fast the compound is curing. If for some reason that there's too much curing agent in the compound or too little curing agent or something that's wrong with the compound, this machine is gonna show us that. So we test every batch that we mix. And what we do is we take this rubber compound and we'll stick it in this moving die rheometer here. The top and the bottom are oscillating. And what happens is as the rubber begins to cure, the torque increases. And as that torque increases, it's telling us when the curing cycle begins and when the curing cycle ends and also if while we're curing if there's a chance of over curing or what we call reversions i wanted to show you a piece of equipment that we use on a daily basis to monitor the compound this is what we call a tensile tester and what does this machine do we test the tensile strength we can test the tear resistance and also elongation of the rubber compound. So here, these are test pieces that we have in a rubber compound that we mixed. On each one of these samples, it'll have here the name of the compound, the lot number, and the batch number. So every batch that we're mixing, we're able to test the compound before we actually put it into the manufacturing process. First thing that we'll do is we'll take one of these dog bone pieces, we'll measure the thickness. So we'll record that data and we'll come up with the average thickness for all these test pieces. This is what we call a tensile tester. When this pulls, this will test the elongation, how much it stretches before it actually breaks. When it's stretching it, it's testing the actual tensile strength, the amount of force it takes to pull the dog bone apart. We also have what we call here tear test piece and it has a cut in it or a simulated tear when we stick this into the tensile machine this will be pulled apart and it'll break and based on the amount of force it took to tear it apart will tell us what the tear strength of this rubber compound is I'm here in our lab and I wanted to show you how we test our metal forgings or embeds that are in your rubber track. So whenever we have an incoming lot, we make sure that we test these lots of forgings to make sure that the hardness meets the standard for your rubber track. So this is a, a hardness tester, HRC. This is a standard forging that goes into one of our track loader rubber tracks you can see here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and load that and we're gonna engage the metal piece onto the hardness point. So now it's engaged and it's loading the weight up against the point and then it'll be dropping down and it'll tell us the hardness in HRC. And it shows us that it's 44, if you can see here, 44 HRC. If we compare this with our competitors, many of our competitors are running down as low as 28 HRC and a lot of them only run about 32. Our standard is up in about 40. We try to make the forging harder so it can last longer as you use your machine and you get the most money out of your track, the best return on investment and the lowest cost per hour out of any rubber track manufacturer. So if you're looking for the best track at the best prices, give McLaren a call. Go McLaren, go Extreme.